Hi folks, I'm Mike Moyer, Director of Sales at Solar Atmospheres of Satterton, Pennsylvania. On today's solar expedition, I'm going to be talking about the heat treatment of titanium without surface contamination. This is critical because if titanium is contaminated during the heat treat process, it cannot be reversed. And that's important if you're heat treating parts that are finished. In other words, parts where no metal will be removed after the heat treat process. Let's take a closer look. First, let's review what titanium is. It is a silver colored metal with the highest strength to density ratio of any metallic element. It is also well known for its excellent corrosion resistance. Because of this unique set of properties, it is widely used in critical aerospace applications. But one additional and very important property of titanium is that it is biocompatible, meaning it is suitable for medical implants. Screws, staples, plates, prosthetic joints, and device enclosures for pacemakers and defibrillators are commonly made from titanium and its alloys. In the materials world, we refer to titanium as a reactive metal. What does it react with? When it comes to the heat treating process, we avoid oxygen, nitrogen, hydrogen, and carbon gases. Reactions with these elements can be rapid and permanent. Generally, the higher the temperature, the more severe the contamination. This contamination is typically very hard and brittle and can lead to part failure in service. The brittle surface doesn't handle fatigue well, and once it starts to crack, it will propagate through the rest of the part. In a structural aircraft or medical implant, the effects could be catastrophic. So how does solar eliminate those gases to an acceptable level while heat treating titanium? Plain and simple, vacuum. And not just any vacuum, but high vacuum. While a typical vacuum furnace may operate in a vacuum just below about one part per million of residual gas pressure, which is acceptable for most materials, we know that is insufficient to preclude surface contamination in titanium. We operate numerous vacuum furnaces that were specially designed by our sister company, Solar Manufacturing, which are able to operate at a pressure closer to one part per billion. Now one part per billion is tough to fathom. Imagine being the only person on the continent of Europe. That is the scope of how rare the background gas pressure is when we process titanium in our specialized furnaces. Another advantage that we've realized from operating these furnaces is that bright results are gained easily in processing various other materials that are susceptible to superficial discoloration during heat treating. These materials include ink in L718 and X750, 17.4 pH, 17.7 pH, 430 stainless steel, and many other alloys. The heat treatment of titanium is challenging. The heat treatment of titanium components with finished surfaces is more challenging. I hope this solar expedition has been helpful in understanding the nature of contamination in titanium and also that your heat treater needs the right tools for the job. Lives depend on it. I'm Mike Moyer. Thanks for listening.